viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2024 GCE Mathematics paper team. So if you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the screen. You find a lot of resources that is going to be helpful to ensure that you armor and ace that exam of yours. Let us look at question 7. Answer the O of this question on a sheet of graph paper. Maplanga's carpentry shop makes two types of chairs, type A and type B for sale. The cost of making one share of each type is 2,000 kwacha. The shop has 140,000 kwacha available for making chairs. The number of chairs of type A must be at least 20 while that of type B must be at least 10. If X is the number of chairs of type A and Y the number of chairs of type B, write three inequalities which represent these conditions. B using a scale of 2 cm to represent 10 chairs on each axis draw X and Y axis for X is greater or equal to 0 but less or equal to 70. Y is greater or equal to 0 but less or equal to 70 respectively and shade the unwanted region to show clearly the region where the solution of the inequality inequalities lie. Given that the profit on type A chair is 60 kwacha and on type B is 30 kwacha, how many shares of each type should be made for maximum profit? D calculate the maximum profit. So this question is linear programming. It's a question that I would encourage everyone to answer as the first option question from section B because this question is one of the easiest questions and you can get all the marks as easy as possible. So let us dissect this question one by one. So start with if A. If X is the number of type A chair, then Y is the number of type B chair. Write three inequalities which represent these conditions. So the easiest is to start with the two easiest. So two easiest are found on the in the last sentence. The number of shares of type A must be at least. So must be at least meaning 20 is the minimum. 20 is the minimum. That's what at least means. So you need to understand the language. So the language is you will come across under under linear programming is at least then at most. Then you have not more than. Not less than. You need to understand these languages. So, let us answer question A. So, A, we know, we've been told that X represents type A. So, we don't need to assume anything because we've already been told. So, type A must be at least 20. So how can we represent this? So meaning 20 is the minimum value of x. So we are saying 20 is less than x. 20 is less than or equal to x. Which is the same as writing it this way. x is greater or equal to 20. These are the same. Or I'm saying 20 is less or equal to x. 20 is less or equal to x. What that means is x is greater or equal to 20. So this is the first inequality. Then the second inequality is type B must be at least 10. So meaning the minimum value of type B should be 10. So similarly, what we are going to say 10 is less or equal to y, meaning y is greater or equal to 10, which is the same as this. They mean the same. Okay? Then we go to the third one. We need to get this collect. If you don't get this collect, then we are going to mess up. Then the third one is coming from the fact that we've been told that the cost of making each type of chair is 2,000 kwacha. Then the shop has 140,000 kwacha available for making shares. Meaning the shop cannot spend more than their variable money. 
So the cost, total cost of making uh, type A, it will be 2000 times X. Then that of type Y, which is B, it will also be 2000 multiplied by Y. This should not be greater than 140,000. So meaning these two should be less than 140 kwacha. 140 kwacha. That's what it means. So I can come and light this one here. So it will be 200, 2000 X plus 2000 Y. Yes. Then this should be less or equal to 140,000. Simplifying this, I know I can cancel the thousands divided by thousand throughout. So this tells me that 2x plus 2y must be less or equal to 140. Okay, simplifying this further, I divide by 2, by 2 both sides. So this tells me that x plus y should be less or equal to, should be less or equal to 70. So this is the third inequality. Once you do this, then you're good to go. You get these four marks. Then we go to question B. Using a scale of 2 cm to represent 10 shares on each axis, draw X and Y axis for this interval. We've looked at already this and this interval, respectively, and shared the unwanted region to show clearly the region where the solution of these inequalities lie. So it's just a matter of plotting this. So what we do is let us move to the graph paper, then we plot these three inequalities. Um, okay, so I'm on the graph paper that I've already labeled without wasting much of your time. So the first inequality is telling us. Uh, x is greater or equal to 20. X is greater or equal to 20. So what you do is, you get your ruler. This will just come and draw a line here. That will pass here. So I'm just doing a sketch. So X is greater or equal to 20. So meaning, this region is unwanted. This region is unwanted, number one. Number two, we are told that y is greater or equal to 10 y is greater or equal to 10 which is this one so we are done with this one we are on number two so we're going to plot this one so we go to y axis then we look for 10 then we draw a line like that let me use the same color so that it looks neater so i'm just doing the sketch so we do this the unwanted region is below because we're saying y should be greater or equal to 10 like that so I've done this one. This one is, I can use this color. So this one is like this. Then this one is like that. So we are done with two. We look for to the third one, which is x plus y is less or equal to to seventeen. So what this tells me is when x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, what will be the, y, the value of y? The value of y will be 70. Then when y is equal to 0, what will be the value of x? The value of x will be 70. So meaning I have 0, 70 and 70,0. These are the points. So I need to join just these two points. That's what it means. So I'll come here, here, and here. Then at this point, I can use a ruler because I cannot sketch this one. So let me use a ruler. So with a ruler, I can draw that line. So putting at 70 and 70, then drawing this line. So I'm going to have a line like that. Then the points I'm interested in are the point in such a way that when I add x plus y, the answer should be less or equal to 7, like that. So I'm interested in things that are below. So anything above is outside the solution. So you need to shade like this. 
then I'll just need to label this line so I can use the lead line, the lead color so that it's able to see clearly so x plus y must less or equal to 70 like that. So once you do this you notice that we have we've shaded it the unwanted region and remained with the wanted region. So wanted region is the one in the middle like that. So once you do this you are good to go. So let us look at the other question. So question C, given that the profit on type A share is 60 kwacha, on type B is 30 kwacha, how many shares of which type should be made for maximum profit? So let us make the profit function. So the profit function will be x times this one plus x times this one. That will be the profit function. So profit will be equal to 16x which is type A plus 30y which is type B. Now what we notice is for every one share that we make of type X we are making 60 kwacha. Then for every share that we make of type Y one making half of that which is 30 kwacha. So meaning we make more money we make more money if we made more of type X. If we made more of type X. So you need to look for a point that is where you get the maximum value of x given the value of y. So the maximum value of x is at this point, the far end. So at this far end, we have um, x is equal to 16, then y is equal to 10. If I substituted that one in this equation, what would be my profit? So my profit would be now 16 times 16 plus 30 times 10. So 6 times 6 is 36. So I'm going to 3,600 3, plus 30 times 10 is 300. Adding this give me 3,900 kwacha. So this would be the maximum profit. If I tried any point, if I got a point somewhere here at the middle, so I'd have 30, 30, 30, 40. So it will be x 40. I can use the, the new page. So x is equal to 40. So just to demonstrate to you. Then y is equal to 30. The point. I'm getting this point. So substituting in this function. Profit function. Which is 60 times 40. Which is x plus 30 times 30. I'm going to get 2400 plus 900. Adding this will give me 3300, which is way less than 3900 you found. That's the principle. So, as you go towards up, the profit keeps on reducing. So, if you look at this one, this is x is 20, y is 15. So, just again to demonstrate, we're going to have 16 times. 20 then plus 30 times 50. This will give me 1200 plus 1500. Adding these two will give me 2700, which is way less than 3900. So you notice that the number of chairs, the number of chairs that we need to use are, are so this is now C. So for C, we are saying x should be equal to 60 like I said then y y should be equal to 10. So the answer are these points. That's the answer. So that's how you identify. Then next we look at calculate the maximum profit. So the maximum profit we've already calculated it. It's the one that we've already found to be 3900. So this is the maximum profit. So we've already answered that one. So D maximum profit is 3,900 kwacha. Like that. So once you do this, you are good to go. Then you get the 12 marks. Thank you for joining me on this episode. Please join me in the next episode as we look at the next question, which is question 8.